morning, my friends. This is Green Light the Day with Rosemary. Good morning. I have already been up and out of the house, and I just got back from my water aerobics class, and I took my granddaughter to uh, gym daycare. And, you know, she wakes up thinking, what are we going to play today, Grandma? What are we going to do today? <laughs> of course, last night she knew we were going to go to the, day, uh, she was going to go to the gym daycare. So she was all excited. When she wakes up, she wakes up ready to go. <laughs> and I thought about that. I thought about, that is a child's heart, right? Ready to go. Let's have playtime. We don't stop playing because we grow old. We grow old because we stop playing. You know, who knew that I would still be playing at 53 years old? I enjoy my water aerobics. But, you know, I thought about what she told me in the car. She said, are you ready to go play in the, in the water, Grandma Lita? And, of course, I said, yes, I can't wait. But as she said that, things started to play in my head. And I thought, that's what we've been doing. I've, you know, I, I don't know if all of you know I have a broken toe, and, but that's, you know, while she's here, I'm still playing with her and, and keeping her motivated and everything, and I'm in the moment with her. If she wants to go outside and play in the mud, she plays in the mud. If she wants to read a book, I read a book with her. She's a real good reader, and so we're just having a good time together. But the, the concept that I, that I thought about as I was driving this morning, driving back home, was it's, I say exercise and I think work. I said exercise and she thought play. And I remember Guns, my brother-in-law, when we were in Dallas, he'd say, girls, are you ready to go play? Because that's what exercise is to him. And I thought, what a wonderful way of thinking. You know, because I don't want it to be work. You know, when you think of work, you think of a struggle. Of you got to go do it. <laughs> you got to get up and go. And no, I guess that's what why I love the water so much. because Or, or the exercise that I'm doing so much. Because I'm doing something that's fun to me. That is actually play for me. I thought about how when we go walking, or right now I can't do as much as I want to do, but when we go do walking, it's fun. So for me, I am playing, you know. I'm thinking I have a, a child's heart right Sometimes now. Sometimes we just have to kind of change the words, you know. Instead of saying, uh, uh, I gotta, you know, I gotta get up. You know, with a frown on our face. We have to be like a child and say, I want to. <laughs> I want to get up and play today. Or, you know, instead of uh, feeling, you know, with a you know, frown, we can smile. Turn that frown into a smile. You know, uh, sometimes things are hard. Life is hard. We need to start to play, you know. Uh, Instead of, you know, always wanting for ourselves, we need to start giving, giving of ourselves, you know. Um, instead of standing all alone, you know, uh, be like a child and go along and, and find a friend and bring the friend along with you. So many things that we can turn around as a child does, you know. Be in the now, be in the moment, you know. Learn. As we, as we grow, as we, you know, you're, you're never too old to play. You're never too old to learn new, new things. And uh, she's teaching me that, you know, when I wake up in the morning, I want to wake up with a smile and say, good morning, not good morning. <laughs> barely, barely making it. Can't even smile until I get my coffee in. Oh, Rosemary, so wrong, so wrong. You can smile before that coffee. You can, and you will. <laughs> Mr. Rogers is. He said, play is often talked about as if it were a relief from serious learning. But for children, play is serious learning. Play is really the work of childhood. That's what they're doing, you know. 
they're in they're exploring they're they're being who they are and becoming who they are and it's just an, a, a mix of of enjoyment their life right now is to enjoy life right and i think somewhere along the line along our lifeline we get out of that we we stop playing we stop enjoying life we stop laughing we stop making it fun and start making it hard got to go do this you know i got to reach that number on the scale i got to get that exercise in it's it becomes a chore instead of just enjoyment i hope i'm making sense so for me i don't want to let life pass me by i want to enjoy each day laughing out loudly loving unconditionally playing hard as i can play and diligently pursuing the passion and giving lots of hugs and love along the way that's what i want and that's how i'm green lighting my week just in the eyes of my granddaughter you know seeing her be who she is and enjoying life to the fullest and just you know i don't have a lot to do right now and the heat is just crazy but the little things that we're doing she's enjoying it and even if she's just in a cool room like i said i don't have air conditioning in the whole house but even if she's in that one room cooling off reading a book or or we're or we're you know playing a video game it's all enjoyment to her there's no stress along with it you know i think we bring too much stress in our life as it is and so i'm learning to just de-stress i guess anyway uh, i hope i uh, green light it your day i'm going to continue green, green lighting my day you go out and continue green lighting your day <laughs> i see you when i see you bye for now i think uh miss janie has changed me to friday so i am your friday green light the day talk to you soon bye guys